Okay, we're on hole four here. This is a great par four, probably the best out here. It's about 400 yards, you have to place it. I'm gonna zoom in down here. You can see down here, the traps, slopes a little bit to the left. That 150 pole is about right where we want to hit it, maybe a little bit right of that so it kicks left. All right, Kyle, let's see, uh, Case, let's see what you got here. All right, so I'm gonna start it off with that lone tree out there and turn it over just a little bit. Hitting three wood because Driver puts you, there's a waste area beyond it, so this will hopefully be short of it, so. Good play. We better align it here. Let's hit a little bit right again. It's going to be safe. You're going to be able to hit. It's just going to make the hole a little bit longer. A lot longer. Okay. Woo. All right. Didn't exactly give you something to shoot at, Neil, so. <laughs> So, uh, good luck to you. I left that tee there just for you. Thank you. Bro. I'm a giving person. All right, I'm going to hit it in between the hole and the right trap. We'll draw. All right, you got it, partner. Let's go. And that was a perfect shot. Looking right off the trout. To be A1. It is. Hey, good ball, man. Good All ball. Right, thank you. I got to catch up to you. All right, what we got here, Casey? We got a long way. That's <laughs> what we got here. All right, we got a decent lie. Okay, you know, so. Opposite of a draw is a really big slice. All right, I'm going to zoom in here just to let you see what he's facing here. A long way. He has got this over that ravine. Winds blowing right to left, trouble left. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. So okay. So let's see what you're he's got you're here. You're almost acting like I'm losing. Or I'm beating you right now. Okay. So uh, again, I'm not even thinking of the flag right now. Uh, I'm just gonna get right out there. Good solid legs. Good solid swing. And that's going to be fine. Get up there on that ledge. Go. And it All did. Right. Good clean living. Woo. This guy is the luckiest guy I've ever met in my life. Thank I'll you. tell you what, I'm, he Thank needs to play lotto tonight. I should. Okay, I got 182 yards, but it is playing uphill. Uh, it's definitely a little bit of wind hurting. I'm, I'm figuring it's going to be playing closer to 200 yards, so I am going to play a five iron here. If I hit it long, then great. That's how I'm. I'm, I'll be fine with that. Yeah, that wind, that wind is definitely hurting. So, yeah. You can always hit it really low like I did, you know, keep it under the wind. Oh, he hit a pretty good one just hanging out there a little bit. All right, hang on one second here. And I hit a great shot, but I lined up exactly where I hit that. So yeah. it looks like I need to work on my alignment. Just a little bit, just a little bit, but not bad though. Okay, uh, Casey's got 67 in up the hill. He's got a pretty decent shot out of that rough. So I'm let's see what he's got here. Outside of 10 feet, because I want Neil to have a realistic chance of of getting a stroke up on me here. So because anything inside of 10 feet, I'll probably make it, won't I? Wow, he's getting full of himself now. <laughs> you kids at home watching this, this is not the definition of humble. Okay, it'll come back again. Wow. That was well hit. I right, good job. So glad I taught you that shot. All right, walking up to Neil's ball here. All right, so kind of zoom in there for you. Got a terrible lie here on some mud. Um, definitely, I was going to do it anyway, so I'm going to do the old school bump and run. I got a nine iron. I'm just trying to carry the green maybe two, three feet and have it roll out the rest of the way. I don't know if you can zoom in on that lie there, Casey, but there's a lot of dirt behind it. If you try to do anything with like movement, it'd be easy to hit it fat. So I'm just going to get my hands leaning forward, ball position back, lean the shaft forward, and just make a putting type stroke and see what happens here.
Boy, that looks good. Oh, that looks so good. Wow. I'm actually disappointed. I was trying to make that. Uh, I don't know if you saw that and how my oh, confidence and my swag was there, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I might even give you that putt, Neil. You know what? I think I will give that to him. So I'm going to hand you off to Neil while he walks up there and takes that putt from you. There you go. Good shot, man. That's my PGA professional. He's good, folks. Actually, I try to teach that shot all the time, time to the juniors, and uh, they don't like to hit that shot. But I keep hitting that shot, and hopefully the, they'll want to do catch it. will back on eventually. Eventually it will catch back on. All right. Well, I definitely left it outside of 10 feet here. It's uphill. You can see the hole here. The grain is going towards Casey here, so it's even going to be up the hill and against the grain. It's going to be a little, little slow. It's all right. Just get that ball rolling like you do and give it a chance. And he hit a great putt there. He just. I mean, he just needed to make a full shoulder turn there is all. Oh, that's all I got to do. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty slow. All right. I got one back here. One back. So all after right. four holes, he is even. even, and I am one over. So we'll be going to number five here. Alright, Casey's got about 142, 141 yeah. in, downwind, I believe he picked a pitching wedge yeah, out, pitching wedge. got a side hill lie, he is definitely going to ground his legs in there to keep his legs solid, ball's going to work probably about 15 yards right to left. Yeah, I'm going to start at that tree beyond the green, because everything on this flat or uh, pin goes to uh, right to left, so. Stay there. Yeah, hit that a little, little thin, but it'll chip in a putt, chip in a putt. Right. A little bit right off the tee. I got 97 in. I got my 54 degree balls considerably above my feet. I'm gonna choke down. I'm gonna wade into the hill a little bit, and then just really try to keep steady and swing my arms, not move my head too much on this shot. Kind of like a sand trap shot. You don't want to move a lot. I'm gonna play about 10, 15 feet right of the flag because it's gonna move left off this this loft. It moved more left than I thought. I'm on the green. It's just a tough lie. I'll take it. Yeah, not bad, man. Not bad. Okay, Casey's over here in the trap. Actually, just left the green. He's, he's just got a chip. Not too bad. Yeah, Nothing he can't really, handle. Really good lie. Really got, good lie. All right. Wait. You can play it low, you can try to fly it there. I'm going to try to hit it a little low. It's a little, little safer low. Okay. Let's see what you got. A little yeah, bit of an uphill lie. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. That uphill lie can get you. Yeah. Not the easiest shots. Is that ball okay there? Yeah. All right, well, Neil hit it well enough that it just stuck it, literally, right in there. I'm right there. Mine really kind of kicked sideways after it. So. You see the shot that Neil's got coming up? You sure mine's all right? Yeah, it's good. Okay, yeah, this one's going to... Uh, really sling around there. 
It's gonna have to probably start it right about where I'm at. All right, let's go. Let's make a long one. Oh, it's got to turn, hopping, hipping, and hopping. That's ah, a great roll, man. Thank you can you. really see. Ed, you take that away. All right. All right. Well, I got gave me a pretty good indication on what I got to do. So. Tell you a tip at home, guys. I play a lot of tournaments. Uh, a lot of times when the greens are airified like this, the people I play with in competition usually get negative. And I tell you what, I love it when the conditions aren't exactly right because you know what? Everybody's got to play in these conditions, so keeping a good frame of mind and good positive attitude goes a long ways. And he hit a good pot. Nothing you can do about that. The ball was rolling end over end. Nice roll. That's fine. We'll give you that one. All right. All right. After five, we are all even now. We're I'm one over. Casey's one over. He's feeling the pressure. Yeah. That's all right. He's got something left stored in the tank. A little karma there after that. You know, a little bit of overconfidence on the last <laughs> hole. That's a great lesson for you young kids not to verbally do that. Let's look what happened. Came back with bogey, bogey. So there you go. All right, we're well, on hole six. Uh, we got 172 into the wind a little bit. I'm going to hit seven iron just because I'm going to try to flight it down and just hit it smooth. So I'm going to take a little bit left of the flag and see if it'll cut back. Number, baby. Come on. Wow, there's a lot of wind up there. Yeah, there is. Yeah, About there 40 is. 40 feet below the hole, but it's a good shot. Yeah, that wind really picked up right at the end on your on your shot there. All right, looks like Casey's going back for an extra club after he went to school off of mine. Yeah. All right. I didn't ask, so that's not a two stroker, so. Nah. He, he's a pretty smart golfer, though. Let's see what he's got here. He's gonna try to put a good swing on it. Got a little weather in the background talking to us. solid it's like he ended up a little bit left of the green yeah. but you know why he hit it solid we can get up and down it's all right it's one of those days it's okay keep working man keep working at it get it up and down that's why we have a good short game okay walking into the green here it's like i got about 35 feet up the hill i tell you what right number right wrench man Just that's it. it that's what you gotta look at it i mean hey it wasn't on line but find a positive and what you did there you hit the ball more solid and you were on the last few holes so I got pretty good life too. So. Yep. You welcome these little chips. You can have fun with us. See if you can knock it in a three foot area. If you're putting stroke, no worries. Yeah, All right. Really, really good life. All right, step me through your process here, Casey. Like, what are you looking at when you're doing this chip? Well, first thing I'm doing, you always got to assess the lie. You have to assess it because that's really going to dictate the type of shot you're going to hit. I have an amazing lie, so it opens up a lot of different opportunities. Um, so basically on something like this, I'm going to pick my landing spot and then I'm just going to visualize how the ball is going to roll out. So I'm going to land it about, about four feet, five feet on. Because I'm going to hit this a little lower and let it release up the hill. Go in. Go! Oh, oh man. And he's hit a great shot. Wow, <laughs> you can see that. It's about two feet away. I cannot hit that any harder. <laughs> wow. Well, your 
still away. Still meter out here today is rolling a <laughs> negative point four. <laughs> Remember, Neil, positive attitude. I am. I'm letting it out. <laughs> hey, there may be children watching. Hopefully, somebody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on now. Put it in there. Good roll. Sorry, Neil. Couldn't happen to that a nicer guy. That was an incredible guy. roll <laughs> that I am going to, uh, after the camera's off here, I will let it all out. <laughs> Remember what he said about karma, kids? He gave me this putt and then he took it away. And that's the only reason I made him putt it was because of these greens. Because I hit my, I made a full swing on my last putt and only left it eight feet short. So ah. there we go. All right. Hey, we're going to stay positive out here. <laughs> Moving to the next hole. Uh, we that's are. The of, that's the end of part two. Yeah. We'll see you guys in part three. We're both two over here. We're having a good time though. Having we're enjoying it. All right. We had to pick up after that last draw. We had a lightning strike that probably hit, probably feeling like, like five miles, <laughs> maybe closer. So yeah, it was get, real close. We're gonna get out of here. We're not safety first. So we got through six holes. So I hope you enjoy the video that we make, and uh, we'll see you next time at BarnHillGolf.com. <laughs>